This tool can be rented from a library. And so can this tool. All of these tools can be rented from something called a tool library. In North Carolina in the United States, I introduce you to the Asheville Tool Library. So how do you rent a tool from a library? They're similar to book libraries, but instead of checking out novels, you check out tools. From simple things like extension cords, to lawnmowers, to this is a wood chepper that would cost you thousands of dollars to buy. I love building and fixing things, but owning all of the tools is really expensive. And most of them spend their entire life collecting dust in our garages. Did you know that the average power drill is only used for about 20 minutes ever? That's why lending libraries are so important. They help us to share resources, to cut down on waste, and to rise above consumerism. It's as simple as showing up, checking out the tools you need, and then bringing them back when you're done. Pretty cool, huh? For just $50 per year, members have access to about 2,000 items. So don't worry if you're like me and don't own many tools. With the tool library, you get to own all the tools you need without actually owning them. But if you don't have a tool library near you, don't worry about it. There are plenty of solutions for sharing tools and living more sustainably. You can talk to your neighbors and friends and coordinate tool sharing in your community. You can live in an intentional community where everybody shares everything. And you can go to my website and search tool library to see many other examples. We can all take actions to live more sustainably and to get involved in our community. So stop buying tools and start renting them at your local tool library. And who knows, maybe you'll even see me at your local tool library.